Eight cars that became sales flops. What's up everyone? We're all familiar with cars like the Camry and the F-150 being massive sales successes. There are some cars, however, that completely missed the mark, eventually becoming massive automotive flops, far underreacting the manufacturer's sales expectations. Here they are. Number 1. Pontiac Aztec A car that played a major role in Pontiac's demise was definitely the Aztec, a strange-looking SUV built from 2000 to 2005. Its daring design was the biggest issue with this car, and despite its functionality, the ugliness is what drove this car to the rock bottom of US sales figures. With features such as built-in camper tent, bicycle and snowboard racks, the Aztec was supposed to speak to adventurers. Widely considered as one of the ugliest cars ever built, the Aztec was a major flop, despite being a decent car. Many people argue that the Aztec failed because the market wasn't ready for something new, but we believe that it was just about the bland execution of an amazing 1999 concept. Its appearance in Breaking Bad earned it a dose of ironic popularity today, but sadly, Pontiac isn't with us anymore. Number 2. Chevrolet SSR In the midst of the mid-2000s retro craze, Chevrolet development team came up with a crazy idea to produce a nostalgic two-seater convertible pickup with a muscle car performance and a $41,995 starting price. The result was the SSR, a vehicle that looked unlike any other car on the market, which a lot of people didn't like. The 1950s-inspired design didn't work so well for most, so the SSR was considered ugly. I love it, though, personally. The idea behind this lifestyle pickup was that it would attract younger buyers, but it quickly turned out that it mostly appealed to aging baby boomers. That made it even more uncool, despite the fact that it packed 300 or even 390 horses from the LS2 V8 engine. Despite many efforts to make the SSR appealing to the intended audience, Chevrolet managed to sell just around 24,000 of these oddballs in a painful realization that they need much more than simply a wild imagination to make that concept work. Number 3. DeLorean DMC-12 One of the most famous and also the most spectacular car flops in history was John DeLorean's personal project called DMC-12. The ex-GM executive behind the Pontiac GTO wanted to make his own flamboyant sports car with brushed stainless steel body and gull-wing doors, but the project was plagued from the very start. First of all, DeLorean chose the worst time to build a sports car, smack bang in the middle of a recession. Next, the car ended up with a rather disappointing V6 engine, and finally there were a lot of early quality issues since the car was being built by inexperienced workers in Northern Ireland. The DMC-12 was produced from 1981 to 1983, but the company eventually went bankrupt, and its founder was arrested with large quantities of cocaine which he planned to resell in order to save it from closing its doors. Despite all its flaws and poor reception, the DeLorean DMC-12 became an automotive legend thanks to the Back to the Future movies. Number 4. Volkswagen Phaeton who wouldn't expect a brand whose name literally means people's car to enter the market segment such as ultra-luxurious limousines? But Volkswagen did exactly that with the Phaeton. Built as a halo model as well as the foundation for Bentley Continental flying spur sedan, VW Phaeton was a flop from the very beginning and a missed opportunity. The market really wasn't ready for the brand that gained fame on affordable models to introduce a luxurious land barge, but the Phaeton failed worldwide despite being a fantastic car. As much as it was a flop, it was also a missed opportunity. Imagine it being marketed as an Audi A10, for example. Sound more reasonable? Yeah, it does. But VW didn't think so, killing the brilliant Phaeton in the process. But hey, at least their failure gave us one of the best affordable luxury sedans on the second-hand market. Number 5. Suzuki Kizashi With the name that roughly translates as a sign of something great coming, but also omen and warning, the 2009 Suzuki Kizashi was more of the latter. It was a mid-sized sedan with sporty aspirations, being powered by a 2.4-litre engine with 185 horsepower and optional AWD, and its design was beefed up and dynamic. While all of that was rather good on paper, it couldn't translate to sales figures because of bad marketing, and rather bizarre recalls due to a possibility of spiders weaving webs in the fuel tank. Also, the Kazasha usually sold within Hyundai and Subaru dealer networks, so buyers simply chose brands they were more familiar with. All that led Suzuki to pull out from the American market in 2012, and the Kazashi was left without a replacement. 
Number 6. The Maybach 57 and 62 Historically speaking, Mercedes have never made a market mistake, at least until they decided to revive the Maybach brand. Built to compete with BMW's revitalized Rolls-Royce Phantom and the Bentley Continental Flying Spur owned by VW, the uber-luxurious Maybach was a revival of a long-defunct German manufacturer. With the name familiar only to true automotive connoisseurs, this was the first step towards its demise. Next, both models looked almost exactly like the S-Class, only bigger, a bit more luxurious, and at a double six figures, a whole lot costlier. Of course, lack of brand recognition and an uncanny similarity to a mass-produced model didn't do so well with the world's richest, so the production was halted in 2013 after years of disappointing sales figures. Number 7. The Lincoln Blackwood Although pickups have become as luxurious as SUVs or premium sedans, their main selling point is still functionality. Back in 2002, when the Blackwood was introduced, pickups weren't that big on luxury, and Lincoln completely forgot about the functionality part, causing it to completely flop. The Blackwood was based on the F-150 underpinnings, with looks inspired by the much more popular Navigator SUV, and it was only available in black double-cab configuration. Lack of versatility, a virtually unusable covered truck bed, and a huge price tag of $53,000 killed the first Lincoln pickup really fast. The model sold for one year only, with just 3,356 manufactured examples. Number 8. Fiat 500L Fiat's return to US soil was marked by several models such as the 500 City Car, the 124 Roadster, and its rather fantastic sporty Abarth versions. Then there was the 500L, the car that failed to establish itself in the compact crossover class in Europe, let alone the USA. The 500L was to compete with the Mini Countryman, but unlike this retro-style crossover, it couldn't offer any performance, driving feel, or any form of excitement. Fiat had to do much better in order to conquer the American market, but they failed, because the 500L was the worst-selling car in the segment for years. The 500L is still in production due to somewhat better sales figures in Europe, but it's slowly being replaced by the more exciting 500X. So there you are. What other cars became sales disasters? Let me know in the comments. Please remember to like or dislike the video. I reply to everyone in the first six hours. Cheers!